Okay, friends, we're going to talk about a assignment that a teacher has given you with a PDF attachment. There are two types of attachments that they may have sent to you, and each works a little differently. So first, we're going to open up this assignment called PDF Attachment Students Can View File. This assignment, the teacher has given you the PDF as an attachment, but they've not assigned it to you. You'll see it in the attachment section like you see here. If you go to the Your Work section, however, you will not see it listed as an attachment. If you open this PDF, in the upper right-hand corner, you will see a pencil. If you click on that pencil, you can now annotate on this picture. It is not saving as you work. and it won't save until you actually hit the save button. But if you hit the save button, it will save the file with a new name. Notice edited gets in front of the PDF name. It brings you back to the original document that the, your teacher gave you. Notice at the top, it does not say edited. If I close this attachment, the original that I just opened is still on the screen underneath attachments. If I now open the Your Work section at the bottom of the screen, there is my edited copy. If I need to come back and make changes to this document, I need to open the edited version to continue making changes. Here are the markups. Make sure to always come back to the edited version of the PDF if you're going to mark it up within Google Classroom. Another way a teacher may have assigned you the PDF is they may have made a copy for each student. Notice in the middle of the screen, the PDF does not appear this time. Since the teacher made a copy for you, that copy appears in your work at the bottom of your screen. Now when I look in your work, I see my name and my PDF. I'm gonna to tap to open that PDF. Again, notice it has my name on it. If I wanna edit it in Google Classroom, I'm gonna tap on the pencil icon in the upper right-hand corner. I'm then gonna edit this document again. Again, it's not saving any changes until I actually tap the Save button. So I'm gonna tap Save again. Notice, Edited is in front of my name. It comes back to the original file. Notice, no edited on my file name. So I'm gonna close the original, and there is my edited version. The original blank version is now gone in this example. So if I need to make changes to it, I need to come back to the edited version and click the pencil again. Once you hit save on either version of the PDF you're working with, when I come back in to edit, I cannot erase the markings that are on my screen. Also remember, once you're finished with the assignment, tap Turn In. So that is how you work with a PDF when you want to annotate it within Google Classroom. So always make sure to come back to the Your Work section to get that edited version. <music>